I'm Professor Tom Wilkinson. I'm Professor of Respiratory Medicine in the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Southampton. Uh, I work here in the faculty leading a research group uh, looking into the mechanisms by which the human lung defends itself against viral infections. Before the coronavirus outbreak, I was working with a company that spun out from the Faculty of Medicine called Synergen, and we were trialling a new drug called Interferon Beta, uh, which was designed to help fight uh, viral infections in the lung. This study was due to complete in early 2020, when we heard the news that the coronavirus was spreading rapidly from China and affecting people in Italy and wider in Europe. We made a decision very rapidly at that point to pivot our activity to face the onslaught of the coronavirus and to target particularly the ability of this new treatment, interferon beta, uh, to help fight the coronavirus infection. My name is Lee Hennin. I'd like to share my experience having contracted COVID-19 and being hospitalised for eight days having been admitted into hospital with acute respiratory failure, where I had participated with the inhaled interferon beta programme clinical trial. Once in hospital, I was placed on a COVID ward and put on oxygen and started treatment of antibiotics for the pneumonia which had developed. With the programme, the drug is administered through an electronic nebulizer. The nebulizer recognises the exact time you draw breath, where it then injects the drug. I had to take 14 doses of this drug, one dose taken daily. At the start of the treatment, I remember really to struggle, drawing breath, taking around 13 or 14 or minutes or so to complete a cycle. By the end of that second week of my recovery, I remember very vividly waking up in the morning as though somebody had turned an oxygen supply to my lungs. I could breathe again. When we broke the code of the study uh, with the statisticians, we found that there was a very positive signal uh, and that the interferon beta treated patients had recovered uh, about twice as quickly as the uh, control arm uh, and that uh, there was a, f a reduced incidence of intensive care admission and death uh, in the uh, treated patients compared to the placebo. Uh, and this was a very positive signal uh, and this has led to the development of future plans for this treatment in large scale clinical trials internationally and hopefully it's the first step in the generation of a new treatment uh, for COVID-19.